After The Force Awakens and leading into The Last Jedi, many have been theorizing that Luke Skywalker has finally embraced the dark side of the Force after it grasped him so strongly in the events of Return of the Jedi, and now have explained that the destruction of his Jedi Academy and his ultimate goal of restoring the Jedi being tarnished was the final straw that has broken Luke. To add to this theory, various marketing for the film has hinted that Luke may in fact have embraced the dark side of the Force as he looms in the back of various posters and appears in the positioning the antagonist usually would. Luke also has various lines in the trailers, such as it's time for the Jedi to end, that hint that he may in fact have turned to the dark side. To explain the posters, it was revealed that unlike the original trilogy where Luke Skywalker was the protagonist of the series, we now have dual protagonists, those being obviously Rey and Kylo Ren. And while Snoke is Rey's main threat, Luke is Kylo's, and thus why he looms over him in the posters. This new trilogy is just as much Kylo Ren's story and journey as it is Rey's, thus explaining that Luke Skywalker Skywalker is in fact an antagonist, but an antagonist for the villain of the film. But this still doesn't mean that Luke hasn't turned to the dark side. In fact, Mark Hamill commented that he fundamentally disagreed with the way the story of Luke has been taken. Today though, those comments were clarified, and we received a concrete answer to whether or not Luke Skywalker has embraced the dark side of the Force or not. Quote, In The Force Awakens, Luke has lost confidence in his ability to make good choices. It haunts him to his core, but he hasn't gone to the dark side. This isn't an evil version of him, but it's still an incarnation of the character I never expected. It has pulled me out of my comfort zone. It's a real challenge. Here, Mark Hamill explains that yes, Luke Skywalker is somewhat a broken individual, and that his faith in the Jedi is gone, especially after he placed all he had into the young and powerful Ben Solo, and he turned against the Jedi Master and destroyed everything he had built. However, Luke hasn't lost faith in the light. He's lost faith in the Jedi and the way they operate. That is why he is hesitant to train Rey, as he has seen both his nephew and his father and what they were capable of and the terrible, terrible things that they both did and how they stemmed from the Jedi. It is because of this that Luke has lost all his faith in the Jedi, not the light side of the Force, however. Other than this, though, Luke is still very much the person we knew from Return of the Jedi, as Mark Hamill elaborated. Quote, Actually, I don't think Luke's fundamental personality has changed, except that he is older and his life experiences have shaped his outlook the same way they do for all of us. So there is the concrete answer. Luke Skywalker has not embraced the dark side of the Force in The Last Jedi, but he is damaged and has lost nearly all of his faith in the Jedi Order. But what are your thoughts on all of this? And would you have liked to see a dark side Luke in the films? But ultimately, are you satisfied that Luke Skywalker has not embraced the dark side. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed and want to help the channel out, be sure to hit the like button. If you would like to see more Star Wars explanation videos and stay up to date with all the Star Wars news from The Last Jedi to Star Wars Rebels, hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to turn on notifications to see everything as soon as it comes out and to make sure that you become a living holocron today. If you would like to get in direct contact with me, follow me on Twitter where we discuss all things Star Wars and debate with one another on the various topics concerning the universe. If you have any video ideas you want to see explored, leave them in the comments below the video with hashtag suggestion at the end of your comment so I can find it better. If you do end up leaving a suggestion, I really appreciate it and hope to one day make a full video dedicated to your question or suggested topic. Thanks again just for simply watching the video and your continued support on this Star Wars journey. May the Force be with you and have a great day. There is now only one week left in the LEGO Star Wars giveaway. In just a few days, I will announce the winner of every single LEGO Star Wars set for The Last Jedi. In order to win, all you have to do is subscribe, turn on notifications, like the video, and follow me on Twitter, at StupendousWave. Link will also be in the description down below. Once you have followed all of these steps, you have officially entered to win all of the LEGO Star Wars sets. The end of the giveaway is approaching, and this is one of your last chances to enter to win all of the LEGO Star Wars sets for The Last Jedi. Good luck, and may the Force be with you.